All right, y'all, so one of the paid features of MailChimp is automation. And it is the very thing that is going to let you set up an email series or an email course or something like that. So I love MailChimp. It's super easy to design attractive emails, and there's no reason why you can't operate a course through your MailChimp account. So again, paid plans are awesome, and they start at about $10 per month. So let's actually go into my dashboard and figure out how we would start an automation sequence okay so automation is what we're gonna call those emails that are automatically sent out from our account so I'm gonna take you through the quick process of building out a campaign for a handbag store so this could be like an online handbag maker maybe somebody who makes custom things on Etsy or on their own website or this could even be a brick and mortar store that sells handmade goods like handbags all right so what I've designed is instead of calling it an email course I I am thinking up what I am calling a pretty much like a mini series, right? And so I've named it the field guide to being a lady. So it's going to be five emails that are meant to be kind of comical and fun, but still helpful because it has some tips and checklists for items that you might need to carry in your handbag, different ways that you can use your handbag, uh, the best ways to travel with, you know, luggage, handbags, all of that. So it's this really informative guide that's going to come with checklists, it's going to come with tips, it's going to come with pretty images, and it's honestly going to reinforce the brand. And for those of you guys who sell those handmade products or products of any sort that you want people to buy from you, my number one tip is to recommend other amazing items that complement it after your customers have purchased and maybe even before they've purchased. So somebody buys a handbag from you and then you have a five part series on, you know, the field guide to being a lady. And part one is maybe everything a woman needs to carry in her handbag or something. And you have maybe a story or two, you insert a video clip from a popular movie that people will laugh at, whatever it may be. Part two is what you need to travel with if you're going to be on the road. And you have all these essential items that women can get inexpensively from Amazon or some of their other favorite stores to kind of fill their handbag up or have with them. You're just being helpful. And here's the deal. If people remember getting good information from you or getting good recommendations from you that they go buy something and they really like it they're always gonna want to open your emails all right so we're setting up our five-day course called the field guide to being a lady all right let's go so let's hop into automation you're gonna click on the automation tab once you're in your paid account and press create automation workflow okay now you can select a list to send these automated emails to all right select your main list I'm gonna select a list that I haven't built up yet I actually ended up building it in a different count so we can use this um, as an example all right now let's select a workflow do we want to have a welcome message when the person signs up do you want to educate subscribers send a series of emails that's gonna be our answer or a welcome series whatever it may be you have a lot of different um, objects here you have a lot of different options so I'm actually going to select this educate subscribers send a series of emails like a getting started guide or online course when subscribers join your list okay so let's press select and let's name this something the field guide to being a lady and you would put in your email address obviously the from name, you could be whatever it is that you, is your business name. I'm going to go awesome handbags. And then you can personalize the to field. So this would be to first name, last name in the email instead of to the email address. Okay, now here's the deal. I don't actually have this list set up, so that's not going to really work. But for you, if you've been collecting first name and last name, that would totally work for you. All right, so then let's press next. Let's configure the trigger. Here's what you'll want to do. You'll want to trigger this workflow when subscribers are imported, okay? So this will be anyone who subscribes themselves or when you subscribe them. This is going to trigger the workflow, okay? So if you were to go right now and import 100 people that you had on a separate list, it would trigger this workflow as long as it's active, all right? So let's continue setting it up. On what days do you want the emails to be sent? If you want it to be sent all days of the week, you leave this done. If you want to, like, let's say, take off your weekends, then that's what you would do there. What time should the emails be sent? Let's say we want them to send at 9 a.m. Central Time, okay? 
every day. Then we'll press next. All right, so we have a workflow set up. Now, here are our options. We can either add one email or we can add five emails. And you can always add more or take you know, some emails away later. I'm gonna go ahead and add five because that's how many I want in this workflow, okay? So you can see that it's got five of them set up for me, and here's what you wanna do. You wanna change these delays. So seven days after workflow is triggered, I wanna change that to one hour after workflow is triggered, or maybe immediately. It just depends on your goal here. But you probably want your client to get your email pretty soon after they sign up, if not immediately, okay? You can actually press apply to all, and then you can go ahead, it's kind of giving you some instructions, um, so you can actually go ahead and design your email and get your email going. But I'm going to press save, and then this one says now one hour after previous email is sent, we want to change that. And we're going to go one day, and you can do that for all the rest of them until they all say one day after the previous email is sent, okay? So I've just changed mine, so you can see we're gonna go five days in a row here, all right, perfect. Now let's go ahead and design the email. You're gonna have to do this with every single email. Let's design it. All right, name your email. This is only internal, so you're the only one who's gonna see this. Email subject, let's change this to the field guide to being a lady, episode one. All right, let's press next. And here's the deal. You can select a template. You can choose from some themes. You can choose from saved templates that you already have and some campaigns that you've already done, or you can code your own. Um, you might want to start with themes and you might find something you really like. I'm just actually going to go from scratch here in basic and I'm going to select this one column theme. But you can build however you like. I love MailChimp because of how easy it is. I want to drop an image, so I'm going to browse. I'm going to actually upload all of mine at once because I know which ones I want here. All right, so I'm pressing open on those, and I know that I want this episode one, so I'm going to select it. Okay, so the field guide to being a lady, episode one. And I already have some sample text that I built up that I'm going to paste in here. So. I'm going to actually clear the styles on this, and then I am going to find my text and paste it in. Okay. okay, here we go. And remember, you can edit this just like a word processor. Maybe make it bold. Maybe make it larger. Center it. Make it even larger. However you want to make this look. Okay? And then, obviously, you can put in your text. And what's so great is you can throw in more images. So this is what every classy lady needs to have on hand. So we might throw in some kind of collage of all the items you might need to have. And obviously, I kind of just am using this picture. You would want to use your own original stuff. But maybe you would link all the items underneath it. Um, so you might have this picture with these cool numbers available on it and then underneath it you might link all the items and then let's say I'm just going to copy this to get us some more text and move it under so but let's pretend this is real text here and then what I'm going to do is of course add a picture of our handbags and recommend a bag that is most related to the article that we just sent people via email. What every classy lady needs to have on hand. Maybe we wrote how having a bag that's XYZ size is the best, and then we show one of our images, okay? And we end the email in a classy manner, throw our social media links down here under a horizontal rule, and we are good to go. And keep in mind, obviously, with MailChimp, you can press enter preview mode so that you can see what it would look like on a computer and mobile version. So let's pretend like this is a really compelling and funny piece of work, okay? So then let's save and continue. And all you have to do is build your next email now, design email. And obviously you would change this to episode two, so on and so forth. I'm gonna actually just do the same process over again once more so you can get used to it but obviously you could change up these emails. I would just recommend keeping some kind of image consistency, 
obviously keeping the same tone, all of that good stuff. So let's paste in some more fake text here. Maybe this one is all about traveling, what travel items you need to have on hand. How about that? And then maybe we have another collage to put in here. Browse, find our image. And maybe we're even gonna give people a free checklist with each email. So this would be a checklist of all the important travel items, okay? It's not really, so pretend like it is, but you get the point. And include maybe a picture of a relevant bag that you sell. But it's not all in their face and it's kind of the last thing that you get to, so it's not gonna be considered super duper pushy. And then you can preview your email again, make sure it looks good, make sure it's funny, and then you're good to go. Obviously you wanna edit it for grammar and everything like that too. So then you can press save and continue, and you could do that same process for all five or all 10 or however many emails in your series, okay? When you're done, you can press next. And if you have any issues or errors with your emails, it will actually tell you, oops, you left the default header content in there. So I can click on resolve and then come up here and instead of you saying, use this area to offer a short preview, then I could change this to, let's get started with episode one or whatever it may be. Or maybe it could be something more descriptive, like what every classy lady needs to have on hand. So anyway, after you fix all of your errors and press next, which I haven't fixed all of them yet, you can actually press start workflow. And that means that as soon as somebody is imported to your list, it's going to trigger this workflow to actually start. So I have it set up to go one hour after the person signs up. You can have it as soon as possible. And then every day after that, once a day, an email goes out. Maybe you wanna spread it over once every three days. So it comes out to 15 days, two weeks or something, a little bit over two weeks, right? However you wanna set it up, that's the kind of system I would go for, is building something entertaining, useful, and something that will kind of reinforce in your client's minds or your potential client's minds that you're useful and that you have good stuff, good quality, high quality stuff. So that's how I might set up some type of email course that's not really a course at all. It's just helpful stuff and lots of pretty stuff built in. Maybe it's some of the stuff that you would have normally put on your blog, you can actually save it and make it a series. As as long as there are some goodies in there, some checklists, some beautiful collages, whatever it is that you want to add in there to add value for your clients and potential clients, I think that you'll succeed with a cool little email mini series situation, okay? So I hope that helped. That's how I would set up something epic for a product-based business. Thanks for watching.